Hello everyone, Runways Gen 2 just released a new feature called Multi-Motion Brush. It's still in beta but I have access to it and I'm going to try it myself and really put it to the test. Let's start by watching the video announcement together and see what they have made for us. So let's go to Runway's website. This is what you will find when you go to the website. And if you click on this one here, start with image, you can upload an image and it will generate the video from that. Let's go with a file. I have already downloaded an image. And now once you click on the motion brush beta down here, you see we have a new interface. So we have five different brushes that we can choose from. It says control a specific area with motion brush, brush over an area to apply motion control specifically. You don't need to be precise. So tap anywhere to begin. Let's brush over our character for the first one. And the cool thing about this is that we can have a lot of control. So for this one, let's make sure that he goes a little to the right. And then for brush number two, let's control this little cloud here and make sure it goes up a little bit and then to the right as well and then we can control the clouds as well over here and let's just select this with the brush let's make sure that these clouds go to the right and then we have these clouds here go to the left we don't need to use the fifth brush i think that's enough for now and let's click on generate four seconds so this is pretty crazy it just came out and i really hope that it is as good as it shows here on the trailer like this one here was really cool. <laughs> and the one with the eyes just goes to the side. Crazy. Let's see. It's actually generating pretty fast. Alright guys, moment of truth. Oh, it was alright. So for this one, let's go with an image that I generated a long time ago. It's a combination of Hulk and a Samurai, so let's create something cool so i want to target the cherry tree here for the with the first brush there we go so they say that you don't have to be precise and i think it's really good but i just try to do it good so we get hopefully we get a good result from this one here so i'm going to speed up this process but what i'm doing is simply selecting the face with the second brush shown in red and another one for the bottom part of the image because I'm going to zoom out the entire frame and I'm brushing over that area for extra movement. Lastly, I brush over the samurai sword and add a vertical motion so that he moves his right hand up with the sword. Wow, this turned out really good. The cherry leaves look like they are moving from the wind. The entire frame is moving out as I wanted. We see some flowers entering the frame where I brushed over the area at the bottom and the sword is morphing a little bit but the hand is lifting it up and the sword is moving with it. I really like how this turned out. The head has a little movement as well and I could have increased the motion if I wanted to. Now let's move on to the next image and test it further. So this is a pretty hardcore test to be honest with you. I don't think that it will be able to pull this off and it doesn't mean that it's bad because of that. In this image we have a bunch of pull balls and I am going to try to select five of them and give them a specific directional movement. So the ball on the left is supposed to go straight down, the ball on the right is supposed to go up and so on. The reason why I think that this might be hard for now is because the pull balls are really close to each other and once the AI generates a few frames, it might morph them into each other because it's just too much to keep track of. Now enough talking and let's see what we got. Yeah, I am not surprised. But here's the trick. I use this image here, which I also generated with me journey. We have three separate panels, one with a blue marble and the other two with a red marble each. Here, because of the space between the balls or marbles, it did an incredible job. 
To be honest, this is one of the best results that I've got so far, motion-wise. So the ball on the left is supposed to move to the left, the one in the middle should move straight up, and the third one should move to the right. There you go, Runway did it guys, what a phenomenal result. I seriously didn't believe we would reach this level so fast. This is a huge achievement, remember where this technology was only a year ago. I am certain that we will be able to create entire movies with a few prompts within two years. And actors will sell their own AI models and you can use it if you pay a certain fee. Now everyone can have Leonardo DiCaprio in their movies. The funny thing about this is that it will only be better for the actors in the long run. Now let me show you two more interesting examples before we end this video. So I took inspiration from Runway's own video. <laughs> I generated a few images of an eye with me journey and I wanted to recreate this effect here where the eyes are moving. I am going to try it out with only one eye just to see if it will turn out to be as good as the one in their trailer. So as soon as the video starts the style of the eye changes but look at the movement and the consistency throughout the rest of the video. I am amazed by how the background and the floor is not flickering or doing the weird morphing thing which sometimes pops up with AI videos and the eye is smoothly moving to the left and maintaining the shadow. I hope they make it cheaper so we can experiment with it even more. Now let's end it with this one here which made me realize once again your imagination is the limit on what can be done, especially with this new motion brush. And remember that this is still in beta. I use the brush tool and make a rough selection of the eye. The only motion that I add is the vertical one and I drag it to the right, which is for the upward directional movement. And here we go. Look how the eye levitates and how Gen 2 has created a shadow underneath it. This is absolutely ridiculous. I love it and I look forward to see what the community is going to create with this. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.